as soon as I held gear, this is my B Trooper deck profile for post Cyberstorm access. I'm having a really good time with the bug deck. And thank you guys for all of your comments, your suggestions, your likes of the videos, your subs to the channel. It all helps out a lot. So please continue to like, sub, and bell. We're trying to get to 2,000 subs. And let me know your thoughts of this version of the build in the comments section below. But for now, let's count the cards. So here we go. Starting off with the Bee Trooper Stinglancer, down to one in this build. I don't really go into Stinglancer too much, since the sweet, sweet bug support that came out in Photon Hypernova, but it's still a good ace in the hole. On Summon, it lets you Rota a Bee Trooper spell or trap, and it also has a quick effect where you can shuffle one insect in your graveyard and a monster in your opponent's graveyard back into the deck to special summon this card from your hand once per turn. One Assault Roller, this is still a good solo act to help out with the Mighty Neptune. The only effect you're really going to use on the Assault Roller is banishing an insect in your graveyard to special summon it from your hand, which makes for an interesting extender. And when three of your main deck insects that have been banished get shuffled back into the deck, you can special summon your mighty Neptune for the first time. It can't be normal. It comes back when it dies and at the end of the turn gives one of your insects a rack of attack. Two scout buggies, two scale bombers. Still rocking a deuce on these. Assault roller I may take out in a later build because you know I don't really go too too much into it but if I did I would probably go into a third scale bomber. Scout buggy special summons another one from deck or graveyard to the field on summon and it also locks you into bugs which does not really hurt this deck too bad. Scale bomber is another extender if you control an insect you can special summon it from the hand and it has a quick effect where you contribute an insect you control when your opponent activates a monster effect to blast it. That wraps up our B Trooper friends. Now the rest of the basic bug lineup. Two Dragon Bites. In testing for some other engines, I took these cards out and it hurts so bad. But two Dragon Bite is still a really good ratio. On normal summon, it special summons a level 4 or lower insect from your hand to the field. So it can get you an easy extra deck play. Play. It is also a tuner, so you can use it for your synchro plays as well. Baragram the Shelled Emperor of the Forest Crown also banishes insects. Which it can give up 3 from either graveyard or field and or field to special summon it from hand or graveyard once per turn. It protects your back row and it has an effect where you can literally nuke the board of all non-insect or plants at the cost of attacking directly. So if you were to give for example your opponent a contact C to disrupt their plays and later summon Baragram, you can use Baragram's effect to nuke the board. They'll still have the contact C. And since Baragram can't attack your opponent directly when using this effect, it can swing at monsters. So it'll be able to swing at the contact C you gave your opponent, and the rest of the bugs on your field can clean up. Infinite Antline is like a pseudo hand trap for this deck which you can special summon when your opponent declares an attack on you. It also can tribute one of your ins... Actually, it doesn't tribute. It blasts an insect you control and a monster on your opponent's field. Also, on summon, it can equip an insect from hand or graveyard to it, giving it 1500 defense. And that's important for one of our extra deck monsters. Scary Moth is a good thing to equip, as I found out. Remember, Scary Moth is El Shadal Winda in bug form. 
thank you guys for the suggestion on the crawler engine especially the especially the master dual b troopers using this little engine here crawler soma lets you target an insect you control to special summon it from your hand, then the targeted insect is flipped face down for the turn. It then has an effect where you can lower its level by either two or four, and you special summon different crawlers from your deck in face up or face down defense position equal to the levels you've lowered Soma. Now, you, the level twos that you use, because you're normally dropping it by four, the level twos that you use can be any level twos. Dendrite and Axum are the optimal ones, in my opinion. I've seen people use Neurosis and Glial. I've seen people use Ravener and Spine. So the level twos that you use don't really matter as long as you have two of them. I just chose Axum and Dendrite because after looking at the other two, these guys have the optimal effects of blasting a back row card or foolish or being able to foolish burial a bug respectively. Cockroach engine. I have already explained in my previous deck profile how shiny black sea squadron is part of a blind OTK that I managed to grab in this deck. Retaliating C is really good. You may not get its die fi effect off, but when it dies, you're going to be searching an earth insect with 1500 attack or less and adding it to your hand. Goki Pole is one of these such insects. Infinite Antlion is one. And then, of course, your Resonance insect is also a better one. Funnily enough, and this was a question I got, why don't I use three resonance insects? The reason here I, that I don't is because I seem to loop these two, and you can loop your resonance insects back into your deck, and other insects as well, managing resources quite well. And this deck does do that. <laughs> to those who are unfamiliar of, of resonance insect, it does not have a once per turn, so when it's sent from the field to the graveyard, you can add a level 5 or higher bug from your deck to your hand. And when it's banished, you can foolish burial a bug to your graveyard, wrapping up the insects in the deck. Spell game! You know what we're using. You know what we're doing with that. You know how Call by the Grave works. The field spell that you can fetch out with terraforming is giant ballpark it can block damage it also combos well with your goki pawns engine of shiny black sea giant ball game is down to one i put the other one in the side deck this is our special summon for any level six or lower bug in our graveyard or you can target one insect you control and a monster your opponent controls but you reveal an insect in your hand and the monster your opponent controls with attack greater or less than or equal to the revealed insect that you control can be switched with the bug that you control and the opponent's monster that you take from this switch becomes an insect itself Two Trap Tantalizing Tune. This can let you discard a level 4 bug or a normal trap card to the graveyard for a pair of fresh draws. You can even banish this card to get said normal trap or level 4 bug on the bottom of your deck. It's an oat, by the way, so you can only activate one a turn. 2B Trooper Descent, this gets us a token, a level 3 bug token, and if you have an insect monster with 3,000 attack or more, you're hitting your opponent's back row. Landing, on the other hand, in this build, going into my fusion engine, has gone up to 2. We got a new fusion monster in the extra deck, of course. And Necro Fusion, I like this as another form of fusion. And a punish 
to my opponent should I get hit with a three rack crack rock in the sky going into the trap game. Two anti spells because lightning storm is a thing. <laughs> Two layer wires. I like to use this as a battle trap. Plus, it is a normal trap, so alongside of Necro Fusion, you can pitch it for a pair of fresh draws off a trap tantalizing tune. Hmm. Banish an insect from your graveyard to blast the monster your opponent controls. Lastly, the Fly and Sting, because you can search this off a of Sting Lancer. For the good monster negates and a solemn J man because other negates. Yep, other negates. That wraps up the main deck. Extra deck time! Yes, we no longer need Quagger Hercules because of the new whip. B Trooper Cruel Saturna. They should have just left it as name as Cruel Saturn. We got Mighty Neptune. Why not just leave it as Cruel Saturn? Cruel Saturnus has two effects. On Special Summon, it can add a B Trooper card from deck to hand. And if an insect monster is banished face up, outside of the damage step, you can Special Summon one of your banished B Trooper monsters. This combines well with another B-Trooper that I'll talk about when we get to our blue cards. Still rocking the two absolute Hercs because cards just do not seem to have an out for this once you special summon it to your field. When it's properly fusion summoned, it is immune to all other card effects until the end of your next turn. Turn. And could even bring back a bug at the end of battle phase. This is a 4,000 beater that can't be bounced, can't be destroyed, can't be banished by expertly noir, Zeus, or Mirror Jade, respectively. Ultimate Great Insect, or Yugi, without the Y, as I like to call it. You're never going to fuse a level 7 or level 8 insect. You can, but the main way of getting this out is by tributing an insect you control with 2,000 or more defense equipped with the card. This is a main play by the Infinite Antlion. Remember, Infinite Antlion has 1,500 defense at base, and then when it equips a bug to it, it gets the 2,000 needed to bring out this bad boy, which can't be destroyed by battle and has a battle phase quick effect if there's a field spell to blow up all monsters your opponent controls. So this is the other nuke that you can use outside of Beargrim on the 3,000 body. Diablanus the Menacing Mantis is a nice synchro play that you can use in the deck. On synchro summon, you can send monsters or insects to the graveyard equal to the number of non-tuners that you use. It can also treat another bug you control as a tuner for the turn. It's a Goki Pole strategy that you can work with if you have like Dragon Bite. You can Dragon Bite and Resonance Insect to go into this Mantis, add a monster from your deck to your hand, level 5 or higher bug off of the Resonance Insect, and then pitch for this, which you can pitch Goki Pole, and then Goki Pole gets you your Shiny Black Sea, which you summon out, blast the monster with 2,000 or more attack, and then Menacing Mantis turns it into a tuner. Which you could then go into <laughs> Battle Wasp, Ballista, the Armageddon. Remember, on Synchro Summon, all of your bugs are banished. This big boy deals piercing damage, and when it leaves the field, Special Summons three of your banished level 11 or, or lower insects. So you get a little bit of a uh, refund if things go sour. 
Cicada King for the negates. Really good stuff here. 2B Trooper Armor Horn. This is the other bug that I was talking about when it comes to the extra deck. It also locks you into bugs, gives you an extra normal summon, and it can banish three of your bugs from the graveyard to special summon it from the graveyard, but it's banished when leaving the field. So, in a sense, between Armored Horn and Bear Ground, the Shelled Emperor of the Forest Crown, you can get three bugs banished to bring out your mighty Neptune. Pika Felina is another monster that can equip monsters to your field to give them some extra defense. Resonance Insect is your ideal target. And can even shuffle back three bugs in your graveyard for a fresh draw. Shinobi Insect Hakragamo because you can link away that Nibiru token. Seraphim Papillion to get you some extra summons and it gets beefier for each insect used for its link summon because it grants a counter for it and then of course the invincible atlas which is our other big bug that's unaffected by card effects while it has 3,000 or less attack you can tribute an insect you control to either boost this guy's attack up by two racks or special summon a bee trooper from your deck both ways are very useful that's all for this version of the deck profile really fun stuff here and um you got some more wonderful wonderful going first options thanks to the new support like sub and bell ladies and gentlemen men but for now i take my cards to the box because i'm done thanks for watching and i'll see you next time